I have been waiting eight weeks, two months for this video because we're finally ready to buy the gear. A big thanks to our sponsor, Coral Vault, www.coral-vault.com. If you haven't checked out their live auctions yet, go to the website, click on auctions. Tyler, the owner, puts new what you see is what you get corals up for auction every single week. So you might be amazed at what you can find. And if you bid, you might get a really, really good deal. Also, be sure to stick around because in two weeks, we are going to be running a Coral Vault giveaway. Check them out, www.coral-vault.com. Hey everybody, Matthew here from My First Fish Tank in collaboration with Marine Depot and welcome to week eight in the beginner how-to guide for saltwater aquariums and reef tanks. If you're a beginner ready to set up your first saltwater aquarium, bookmark this video because it's time to buy your gear. We have put together two amazing build lists where you're not going to go wrong with either one and we're going to go through each of those build lists piece by piece. But this is one video that you're going to want to follow along. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put three links directly below. The first one you're going to want to open is to the My First Fish Tank blog. We're going to have both of these build lists on there and give you details. The second one is Marine Depot's 20 gallon and the third one is Marine Depot's 45 gallon. Marine Depot has created landing pages for both of these builds so you can open them up and see all of the gear to purchase in each individual build. I think it's important to be clear with you from the outset that these two builds are not budget builds. If you are looking for the cheapest, least expensive way to build a saltwater aquarium, just go to YouTube, type in budget build saltwater aquarium. There are tons of videos out there. Or you can go to myfirstfishtank.com, click on our setup guides, and we have a build list to get you going for under $300. So while these aren't budget builds, these are middle of the road builds with high quality products that can grow a wide variety of corals and all of the gear you're going to buy will probably last you for the next decade. So it will be able to grow with you in the hobby. I want you to know something. I believe in these builds. I have bought every single one of these products except for the 45 gallon tank. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go to Marine Depot and I'm gonna drop over a thousand dollars of my own money to purchase the 45 gallon build. I own some of the equipment already, but I don't own most of it. So not only do I believe in this build enough to purchase it and build it myself, but if you are interested in getting the 45 gallon, then you can follow along with my build, see what it looks like, see how the pieces work together, and then if you're ready, you can purchase the build yourself. When we get to the end of each build, we're gonna total everything up for you. And you may be shocked at the price, but don't click off because if you stick around to the end, we're gonna go back over the 20 gallon build and back over the 45 gallon build and show you gear that you don't need and gear that you could downgrade to save hundreds of dollars. All of the gear we're talking about today is available at Marine Depot except for the Wi-Fi outlet. You have to get that one on Amazon. Just a really quick disclaimer, depending on when you watch this video, a lot of the tanks may be out of stock. That's not a Marine Depot thing. There have been issues at the ports because of COVID-19. But I've talked with Marine Depot and the builds I'm recommending, the tanks and the gear, they are evergreen equipment and they will be back in stock. Okay, have you guys, have you guys opened up the tabs yet? Make sure you open them up. Go to the My First Fish Tank blog, click blog below, click on 20 gallon build and click on 45 gallon build so you can follow along. Cause here we go. I forgot to mention one thing. There's all in one tanks. There's tanks with HOB filters, hang on the back filters and there's tanks with sumps. And we feature all these tanks on our setup guide portion at My First Fish Tank. But for these two builds, we've chosen all in one systems. And if you've watched this entire series, you know that an all in one system has a rear filtration chamber. And we went with that for a couple reasons. Number one, it just makes things so much easier because there's less to worry about, less gear to worry about, and you don't have to learn everything about sumps. And number two, while the hang on the back filter is certainly less expensive, it's just so ugly. So we find an all-in-one tank, which by the way, this is an all-in-one tank, to be the perfect beginner option and something that can grow with you. First up for the 20 gallon build, we have the Nuvo Fusion 20 Pro Bundle from Innovative Marine. This is a great kit. I love Innovative Marine tanks. They come with low iron glass. They have nicely beveled edges, clean lines, but not only that, but check this out over here. It comes with a DC return pump, mesh screen, 
filter sock, custom caddy, and algae scraper. These are pretty close to an all-in-one system you can get except for the heater and the lights and coming in currently at a price of just under $300, they're a really good value as well. But if a standard rectangular shape isn't your thing, you could easily swap it for either the Innovative Marine 20 gallon drop-off tank or the Innovative Marine 20 gallon peninsula tank. Same water volume, same accoutrements that go with it, just different styles. Next up, we have the APS stand for the Nuvo Fusion 20 gallon. Just make sure you buy the right one. Currently, it's selling for just under $300, so it's not an inexpensive stand, but it's incredibly lightweight and incredibly sturdy. When you open up the cabinet stand, it comes with a shelf as well, so it's a great place to store a lot of your gear, and there's enough place to put an auto top-off reservoir. Not only that, but it pairs perfectly with this tank for a seamless integration. Well, you're going to need lights, obviously. So I talked with my colleague over at Marine Depot, and we decided to recommend the AI Prime 16 HD. This is an AI Prime. This is an AI Prime. I have an AI Prime on my Longfin Clownfish tank, and the hospital tank right over there also has AI Primes. I like AI Primes. I think they're a fantastic middle ground because you get great programmability and plenty of par for most corals out there. And the price point at just under $210 is kind of hard to beat. But if you just buy the light, it doesn't come with any sort of mounting mechanism. But what's really cool about the AI Prime lights is you can mount them to the side of your tank or you can mount them with a hanging kit. But we're gonna recommend the AI Prime flex arm mount. Get the 12 inch mount. The 18 inch mount is way too long, but the 12 inch is just perfect. That's exactly what I have back here. And for $25, it brings the total price of the lights to around $235. Not bad for high quality LEDs. We really like the Carib Sea Life Rock. It's the rock that I use in the Clownfish Harem Tank, and it's the rock that I'm using in the Long Fin Clownfish Tank. It's not the cheapest rock out there, but it has a really natural coralline color, and it stacks really well. So for this, you're gonna wanna pick up 20 pounds of the Carib Sea Life Rock. You may not use it all, but at least it will give you a few different options for stacking and putting the rock together. The reason I'm recommending a more expensive rock, which by the way, 20 pounds of the Carib Sea Life Rock retails for about $100 right now, is because it's something you stare at every single day. And I've made the mistake of buying something less expensive that just didn't look as nice, regretting my decision for the next five years with my tank. So yeah, spend a little extra money, drop $100, pick up 20 pounds of the Carib Sea Life Rock. I think by this point, I may have owned every type of Carib Sea Arig Alive rock out there, and I keep coming back over and over again to Fiji Pink. It has a finer grain size, but a lot of beautiful colorations in it, and I just, I just like it the best. For this tank, I'd recommend just picking up a 10-pound bag, coming in at under $30. That 10-pound bag, while it won't give you a deep sand bed, it will give you enough to cover the entire bottom of the tank. Next up, we have the Phoenix Titanium Heater, the HMA-S. Go with the 100-watt version. It's rated for tanks up to 30 gallons, so it's going to have enough power to get you through those cold winters. I really like this titanium heater because not only does it come with that controller, which is really easy to program, but titanium heaters are also really small, so they don't take up a lot of space in the rear filtration chamber. And the 100-watt version is currently retailing for just over $25, so it's almost the exact same price as an inexpensive glass heater. If you watched my last video, you know that one of my 15 tips was to buy an RODI filter. But there's a lot of options out there, and after talking with Marine Depot, we've decided that the one to recommend is the Puritech Deluxe, 100 gallon per day. It's more expensive, retailing for around $300, but here's why I'm recommending it. It comes with a pressure gauge, it comes with a dual inline TDS meter. It's computer controlled to automatically flush out your RO membrane every couple hours. But the real reason I recommend this one is because it comes with an integrated booster pump. Many of us live in areas with really good water pressure because you need water pressure somewhere around 60 to 70 PSI for an RODI filter to work effectively. But a lot of us, especially if you live in an apartment, if you have a well, have really low water pressure. So the worst is when you get your RODI filter, you set it up, and then you realize you don't have enough water pressure. If you purchase this one, 
the booster pump will raise the water pressure so that you know this filter will work effectively. You're gonna need a gravel vac. You're gonna use it all the time to perform water changes and other maintenance. I recommend the Python Medium Pro Clean. It only retails right now for just over $8, so it's a really inexpensive purchase. There are other brands out there, and I probably own five of these in total, but the reason I like the Python the most is because the flexible tubing feels more like silicone and is way more flexible and doesn't crimp when compared to the other ones. So yeah, spend a couple extra dollars, go with the Python Pro Clean. The medium size should be just about right. Do yourself a favor right now and buy the Flipper Nano Float Algae Scraper. I'd say go with the Nano. The Nano is rated for tanks up to a quarter inch or six millimeters. And that's the exact thickness of the glass of this 20 gallon build. I've tried using the larger Flipper on these smaller tanks and they scratch a lot easier. And the Nano is just so pleasant and it has just enough magnetic attachment to clean your glass really well. Retailing right now for $30, you will use it every other day probably. And guess what? I have, Ooh. you almost got him that time, Dominic. And if you're wondering if I'm just recommending the flipper and I don't use it, look at all my tanks. Look at all of them. There's a tank over there too. I own an individual flipper for every single one of my tanks. So you bought the magnetic scraper, but you're also gonna wanna pick up this Flipper Platinum hand scraper. And the reason is there are just certain areas and corners, especially the back panel, that you can't get with a magnetic algae scraper. So you're gonna need to have a handheld scraper. The reason I really like this Flipper Platinum is, first of all, it's the only one of the handheld algae scrapers whose handle hasn't snapped on me eventually. And you can just use an old library card or a credit card as the actual scraper. But if you don't wanna do that, you can pick up a 10 pack of replacement blades as well. You can pick up the Flipper Platinum hand scraper right now for, I believe, just under $22. Have you guys seen my cat jump like five times? One day, I think he's gonna get through that glass and he's gonna get the fish. You're gonna need a fish net. You just will, you'll use them all the time. I would recommend picking up this one. I think the five inch with a 16 inch handle is a good size and it's selling for $2.50. Well, since you just purchased an RODI filter and a nice RODI filter, go ahead and pick up the Red Sea Coral Pro Salt. You might as well pick up the 160 gallon bucket because you're gonna go through that 55 gallon bucket really quickly. There are other salts out there, but why I like the Coral Pro is because it comes with high magnesium, high calcium, and high alkalinity. So you probably won't need to dose your tank with calcium and alkalinity unless you super stock your tank. Just doing a weekly water change will be enough to replenish those elements. Coming in at $70 for a 160 gallon box, that's a really competitive price with all the different salts out there. You've got to have a test kit and I have tried them all. I've tried so many test kits. I have 50 test kits right over there because I've tried them all, but this is the best one. Go with the API Saltwater Liquid Master Test Kit. It costs $25, it's tried and true, it's super inexpensive, and you'll be able to test and know when the nitrogen cycle is complete on your tank. And rounding out the 20 gallon build, the only thing you can't buy at Marine Depot is this Wi-Fi outlet. Coming in at $28, I own one for every single one of my tanks and I'm able to control everything on my phone. It comes with 10 individual outlets, five of which are Wi-Fi programmable, which is just the right amount for all the gear you're gonna buy in this build list. Okay, drum roll please. What is the total price of all the gear for the 20 gallon build? $1,474 at the time of publication. Now, don't panic. That is a lot of money, but it's worth it. And remember, you can buy one piece of gear at a time. But that being said, don't leave us yet because stick around till the end of this video because we can cut $700 off of that build and turn this into a seven to $800 build by downgrading a few things and getting rid of some others. Starting off our second 45 gallon build is the JBJ RF 45. It's a 45 gallon all in one system, low iron glass. It comes with two return pumps and two filter socks. This is a gorgeous tank. Coming in at $825, there's also an additional $150 freight delivery fee 
because what's cool about it is the stand comes pre-made so you don't even have to worry about that. I am purchasing this tank as soon as I get off making this video today. So if you wanna see what it looks like, go ahead, follow along the series. This is the build list that I'm gonna be making along with this beginner series. If for whatever reason this isn't your thing, you could easily go ahead instead with the Innovative Marine Nuvo Fusion 40 Pro with the APS stand if you just like that look better. Because this is a bigger tank, you do need a bigger light to make sure you get enough par all the way down into the corners. So we're gonna go with the AI Hydra 32. It's quite a bit larger and it should be enough to give you a ton of par right in the middle and enough light at the edges, especially for soft and LPS corals. Retailing for $367, it's an affordable option, Wi-Fi control, it's gonna last a long time. But just like the AI Prime, you do need a mounting arm. There are various options, including a ceiling mount kit, but we're just gonna recommend the AI Hydra Flex Arm Mount, 18 inches, retails right now for $68. It's just a really simple way to attach your Hydra to your tank, and we use the Flex Arm for every single one of our AI Primes, and they work fantastic. We're sticking with the exact same rock, the Carib Sea Life Rock. 40 pounds though, not 20 pounds, is gonna retail for $188. If you know you're gonna to wanna to pack a lot of rock in there, you could pick up both the 40 pound box and an additional 20 pound box, but I think 40 pounds will be sufficient. We're doing the exact same thing for sand as well. Pick up the Carib Sea, Arig Alive, Fiji Pink, but pick up a 20 pound bag, not the 10 pound bag. 20 pounds is retailing for about $46 right now. Again, we're gonna go with the Phoenix Titanium Heater with the analog controller, but be sure to pick up the 150 watt version, which is for tanks 31 to 60 gallons. It only retails for about $30, which is really inexpensive for a titanium heater. Do yourself a favor and buy an RDI filter. I'm not gonna talk about it again. It's still the Puritech Deluxe. Fantastic, retails for $300. For this 45 gallon build, the Python Pro medium size gravel vacuum is perfect, retails for just about eight bucks. This JBJ RF45 build comes with thicker low iron glass, so you're gonna need to upgrade to the flipper standard float. The exact same as the mini, just stronger magnets and slightly larger, retails for $45. Just like the last build, you're not gonna be able to get the back panel of glass or the edges with the magnetic algae scraper, so be sure to pick up the Flipper Platinum 18-inch scraper, retailing for 22 bucks. Of course, you need to pick up this $3 fishnet. I would go with the five inch by 16 inch handle. Since you're gonna buy the RODI filter, be sure to pick up the 160 gallon box of the Coral Pro Salt from Red Sea, which retails for $70. By far the best value on the market is the API Saltwater Master Test Kit. Comes in at $25. It will get you through the nitrogen cycle without a problem. And of course, last but not least, the only item you can't get at Marine Depot, you have to get on Amazon, is the Wi-Fi outlet. Retailing for $28, it's just a great value. All right, the grand total for the 45 gallon build list is $2,155. But again, don't panic yet. Stick around because we're gonna jump right in and show you how to save several hundred dollars on this build. Let's start with the ways to save money on the 20 gallon build. If you follow these replacements and get rid of a few things, you can save seven to $900. First item we're gonna look at is the APS stand, which retails for $300. For this 20 gallon system, you could just get rid of the stand and put it on a really sturdy desk or countertop. Now again, one gallon of water weighs 8.34 pounds. So a 20 gallon system is gonna weigh somewhere close to 200 pounds. So be sure that if you get rid of the APS stand to save $300, that where you place it can support the weight. Let's save another $40 by changing out our rock. Instead of going with the Life Rock, which has that nice coralline color, you could switch to 25 pounds of the Aquamax dry rock. It works totally fine, exact same functionality as the other rock, just doesn't come with that coralline color, but as long as you're patient, the rock will eventually get covered with coralline algae anyways. 25 pounds of the Aquamax rock retails for $60 as opposed to the $100 for 20 pounds of the Carib Sea Life Rock, giving you a savings of $40. Let's take that 10 pounds of Fiji pink sand and just get rid of it. 
you don't need a sand bed to have a successful saltwater aquarium, and that saves you $28. We still recommend that you do purchase an RODI filter, but if you want to save $100, downgrade from that PureTech Deluxe to the Marine Depot Clean Water four-stage RODI filter. This is a slight upgrade from their base model because it does come with inline TDS meter and a pressure gauge, but it doesn't come with that booster pump. So if you think or you know that your water source has high water pressure between 50 and 80 PSI, save 100 bucks, downgrade to the clean water four-stage system. I've used this clean water system for a few years now. It works fantastic. And if you do decide to just not go with an RODI filter and either purchase distilled water or RODI water from your local fish store, not only did you already save $300 from not buying an RODI filter, you can get rid of the salt as well. That will save you an additional $70 up front. But just be aware, you're gonna have to go to your local fish store to buy your salt water. Even though I love the Flipper Magnetic Cleaner and I currently own one, two, three, four, five, you don't need it. You can just use the handheld scraper and that will save you $30 on this build list. So the overall total of this build list before was $1,474. And if you make all the cuts I just suggested, the total cost is $707. That is a huge savings, and if you are on a strict budget, that might be the route to go. And remember, if I'm talking way too fast and you're trying to take notes, you don't need to take any notes. Just look directly below here in the description and click on blog. It will take you directly to the blog that Max wrote that has all of this gear laid out for you, as well as the ways to save money. We're on to the 45 gallon ways to save money. Again, let's start with the live rock. We recommended 40 pounds of the Carib Sea for $188, but if you switch that to the Aquamax dry live rock, you can pick up 45 pounds for $108, which is gonna save you $80. Again, get rid of the sand bed, you don't need it and by not buying sand, you're gonna save $46. Same thing for the RODI filtration here. You can save $100 by downgrading to the clean water four stage advanced, or you can save $300 by getting rid of the RODI system entirely and either buying distilled water or getting RODI water from your local fish store. Since the Flipper standard magnetic algae scraper is more expensive, by just going with the handheld, you'll save $45. You can save another $70 by not buying the Red Sea Coral Pro Salt and just buying pre-made seawater from your local fish store. Remember, the total for this build before was $2,155, and if you follow the advice, you can get that total down to $1,614, which will save you over $600. Remember that both these builds are gorgeous builds. You're getting high quality tanks and high quality items. If you still aren't convinced and you want to do something on the cheap, check out the setup guides at My First Fish Tank or go to YouTube and just type in budget aquarium build and you'll find a lot of options available. You may have this question. You may have this question today if you decide to go out and buy your gear. What do I do if something is out of stock? Well, stick around till next Friday's video and we'll tell you what to do. As always, happy reefing everybody. Be well. See you next week.